Hi everyone, good to speak to you. Well, the World Have Your Say team has arrived here in Israel. I'm sure you can see Jerusalem just behind me here and I hope you can hear me over the din. There's a fair amount of construction going on. I don't know if you can just see down here, there's a big pile of the pale stone which the authorities insist all new buildings are clad in here in Jerusalem. But we're not actually doing today's program from here. That'll be tomorrow. We're driving about an hour up the road to Tel Aviv, to the coast, to do a program from a bookshop. Israelis from all over the political spectrum will be joining us live on World Have Your Say at 18 hours GMT on the BBC to talk about tomorrow's Israeli election. Because I'm sure we would have been talking about this anyway. There's always a keen interest in Israeli politics, but much more so because of what's been happening in Gaza over the last month. So we're going to be speaking with Israelis, asking them what will affect how they'll vote. We know national security is issue number one here. But what's issue number two or three? Abdelila in Morocco is posted at worldhaveyoursay.com. He wants to know how the economic downturn around the world is affecting Israelis. We'll get you an answer on that. And Mumbai in India is posted asking whether Israelis feel their leaders are in control of their country's destiny or whether organizations like Hamas and countries like America have too much influence over what's happening here. We'd be very grateful to get all of your comments. As I mentioned, worldhaveyoursay.com is the blog. We'll be doing the usual routine, updating your comments, posting pictures, posting videos, and of course broadcasting on the radio throughout the day. So we're looking forward to speaking to you as the day goes on.